Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to, or oh, I'm going to show you the process of running the user-driven test sequence. So I got my uh, test sequence created here. Um, let's open it up, edit. Let's go to new computer, UDI wizard. So right here, I'm pointing it to the custom XML file. So it's going to use this files to uh, customize the user driven wizard. I have the files open here. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to boot it to Pixie. Found the WIM file, the boot WIM file. All right, it's coming up. <clears throat> I'm going to hit next. I'm going to choose the test sequence. Click next. I'm going to enter a computer name, OSD test. Click OK. Next. It's going to download all the dependencies. All right, so here's the um, the deployment wizard screen, the very first screen. Everything you see here, it can be modified. I'm going to show you where to modify the settings, this verbiage. So let's open up my the uh, custom XML file. Let me find where that screen is. It's been a while. Um, here's the uh, actually it's the welcome page. You can make modification here if you want to change the verbiage that you see on the screen. So it should be under welcome page. All right, I'm going to click next. So right here, you can change it or you can disable it. In my setting here, I have it. Let's go to BitLocker. This is what I have configured. By default, it was checked to this. It was... Um, default to the second one so I had changed it to the very first one here um, let's go back here in in active directory in active directory 
looks good I'm gonna click next Windows 10 Pro so you would need to choose the um, let me find where that image is see I hardly come into um, the I hardly doing the deployment wizard from here let me find where the image location it should under be under here I just modify it and I forget where it is let's see Oh, it should be under volume. So if you go under volume, you can select the Windows image um, that you want to deploy. So by default, this one came up, but it's not a real, it's not a, an active uh, WIM file or WIM package. So all you have to do is just right click and click on select operating system image. So I chose the one I had created in my SCCM. And now let's go back to here. So that's where you select the image under volume. And by default, it goes to C drive windows and the volume. If you have multiple volume, you will see it here. But in this case, I only have C. So I click next. Yeah, this is talking about capturing uh, USMT stuff. So I leave it as default local. Click next. This is the readiness screen. If you want, you can remove this screen. It's a computer readiness. It should call readiness. Let's see where that is. Did I miss it? Language. Oh, sorry. It's it's called deployment readiness. So you can modify or you can remove any of these items here, or you can remove the uh, pages. This whole pages. All right, um, the next one, I click next. So the computer name, it came from the, the very first screen when I had to enter the, the where it asked for a computer name. So that's where I captured that information from. The organization or OU, you can define it here. domain OU so I have it configured I have three OUs that I can choose from as you can see New York Los Angeles New York and Phoenix the username and password to join to AD you can pre-configure that as well it would be under domain join credential So it's right here. Password. Usually if um, a technician have their own, they use their own credential to join, I would just enter the domain only and have them type their own, their own ID and password.
I will click next. So the local password is pre-configured. If I go to administrator password, my local password is pre-configured to password here. So that's why it populated, it came up automatically um, populated. Click next. You can set the primary user to this computer or you can add it, you know, type in whatever you want for the users. I'm just going to uncheck that. Click. You know what? I'm just going to check that. And um, No, I'm going to skip this one for now. Click next. This is the language. The language screen, you can disable the language screen. It should be under language language here language configuration I have it English only region region and the language defaults so this is where you configure the language I'll click next install app if you look here Microsoft Office 365 it's currently it's checked by default and if I go into the application as you can see it's checked by default click next click finish so the process is gonna take about 20 to 30 I would say maybe about 30 minutes I have a, a VM that is only 5 gig so I'm gonna pause the video and then come back when it's finished all right, so we are about 80% complete. So far, so good. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back. <clears throat> All right. Now, as you can see, it's installing Office 365. That's the uh, package we, we chose to install or I chose to install. So, so far, so good. Um, hopefully, there's no errors. For now, I'm just going to pause the video and then come back. All right, it looks like the installation has completed. No errors. Let's look at the deployment summary. It took 53 minutes. And it joined to the domain. I'm running a processor x64, 64-bit, 5 gig of memory. Let's look at the application install. Let's install Office. Let's look at the data migration. I don't have any data migration, so I'm not going to look at this one. Restore process exit code unknown. So in the next video, I'm going to show you the process of the uh, USMT user state migration. So that's it. That's the process of deploying Windows 10 using user-driven test sequence. Thank you for watching and have a good day.